This video explains how to receive a cold chain shipment when there is a temperature breach during transport. We start by looking at the how-to guide that was updated as part of the 2016 OCA cold chain protocol. The supply log prepares a reception control sheet, which we see here. We have chloramphenicol and a quantity of 1. We have amphotericin B, a quantity of 2. The storekeeper checks and prepares the cold chain storage device the items will go into, checking the monitoring devices inside. We open the cold box and check the monitoring devices. At coordination, we need to prepare a cold chain marking label for each item in the cargo. In the project, we need to update the cold chain marking label when we do the reception. To do this, we first need to check the monitoring devices in the transport box, so we check the freeze tag, the 3M card, and the lock tag. We see written here, if any 3M window is all blue, check the decision-making guide. Based on this information, a new temperature breach has been identified. We prepare to quarantine the items in the cold chain fridge. We take out the lock tag, and we give it to the supply log. They check the decision-making guide. Looking at the decision-making guide, we start at the top left-hand corner. We check the freeze tag, and here we see the tick mark, so there wasn't a problem with freezing in this box during transport. Next, we check the 3M card. Are there any of the windows all blue? We see A, B, C and D windows are completely blue. Has the item a vaccine via monitor or VVM? In this case, no. We're talking about chloramphenicol, which is a star CF item, and amphotericin B, which is a star BF item. So we've seen one has a B and the other has a C, so both items are affected by this high temperature breach. Next we check the box or packaging for possible previous breach by looking at the orange label if one is present. If this reception is being done in coordination, there won't be an orange label on the items yet. We see from this orange cold chain label that this item was received initially in Addis Ababa on the 18th of July and was marked OK, and OK when it was shipped from there on the 21st of July. Similarly, for the second item, we have OK marked on the reception at coordination, and OK when they were preparing the shipment from coordination. We place the log tag in the log tag reader and we save the data. We can see the data shown in blue. The temperature limit was exceeded here. We follow the arrow down to table 2. Again, chloramphenicol is a star C item. And amphotericin B is a star B item. So we look for star B and star C on table 2 of the decision-making guide. In our case, we had a 3M card with the C window showing as completely blue. Even the D window was blue. What we see written here is contact HQ and mark the items with a warning sign and the letter D. Box 4 shows what we do when contacting HQ. We look back at the how to receive a cold chain shipment and see that after checking the decision making guide we mark the boxes and put them in quarantine.
Now you're looking at the last step, updating the stock card based and we include the information we just wrote on the orange cold chain marking label. We make sure the item is fully described, the code is written and the cold chain remark or star category is written clearly. In this example, following feedback from HQ, this item was cleared for use so can be removed from quarantine. The stock guard stays in the warehouse, marked up with information from the orange label if a breach was found. We have the waybill, packing list and reception control sheet that go back to the supply log. <laughs>